What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel today on CFB with J.D. We're going to be breaking down what Miami's new offense is going to look like under offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel for everything you know, everything you love about college football. It happens right here. Nearly every single day we post a video. Armstrong Sims, Jack McKenzie, the real heavy lifting from the production side, and you, well, you drive the show, okay? So one way to help do that is at my Twitter page, at JD Pakel. We do questions, we do snippets, we do open-ended polls. Anything we can do to involve you, we do there, so follow me. Also, like I said, subscribe to the channel. So, Miami fans, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be breaking down Josh Gaddis's offense that he obviously ran a year ago at Michigan. Now, his philosophy, his principles, are essentially playing to the strengths of his personnel. He is more player than he is scheme. So some things will look different on here than they'll look next year in Coral Gables. So keep that in mind. But all that's to say, a lot of the principles are the same. One of his principles, he wants to establish line of scrimmage. He's not a guy that's gonna say, hey, we gotta run it 80% of the time, throw it 20% of the time, but he still wants to make sure they are establishing something in the trenches. They did that a whole lot because they had some good backs last year. But notice that he calls these schemes, calls these plays, in accordance with his players. So right here, Hassan Haskins, kind of a bigger back, a little more similar to a pro style back. That's great, let's call some pro style schemes for him. Right here, we got a power drawn up. No, power play, simple. Guards pulling around up here, gonna take your read steps, get in his hip pocket. Nice little picture to get the game started. So boom, we got this, he's pulling. Now, this is crucial right here. Another back would have seen all this space, but again, we're trying to establish the perimeter, excuse me, establish the trenches, trying to get up and under. Nice block right here. We got this walled off right here. And look at the physicality by the offensive lineman right here, taking him for a ride. Boom. Lower the shoulder, fall forward. So that's another thing. Players take on the personality of their coach. Units even more so. Take on the personality of their coach. So you see running backs like Hassan Haskins finishing with their shoulders down, falling forward, picking up extra yards, playing gritty kind of football. That speaks volumes to the kind of attitude that Josh Gaddis is calling plays with. Keep that in mind. So, again, establishing the trenches, right? But right here, we got a new running back. So what does that mean? It means we got a different kind of play called. So he's more of a jittier back, is Corum, a little bit more quick than he is trying to get downhill and run you over. So we're gonna call a zone for him. Why is a zone important? Because it allows him to have more space to operate. Let me explain. Inside zone, we have our center blocking off here and he's gonna get up to the second level. Combo block with our guard. What does a combo mean? Essentially, it is a variation of a double team. We're gonna help on him for a minute until we don't need to, then we can work up to our linebacker. Our tight end is going to insert on this linebacking level as well first man that shows, meaning the first guy in my vision, I'm gonna block him. Blake Corum, you're just gonna push that picture until you see some space and then get north, okay? And again, he's not trying to use his size and get downhill, he's just gonna use his vision. The, the term you hear and the term that you're gonna coach this with is, we're gonna go slow to, slow to that picture. Once we see daylight, speed through. Slow to, speed through, watch it all unfold. Boom, combo block, great right there. Works up really quick. Linebacker and tight end meet in this picture. So we're up on this guy right here. We're up on this guy right here, Blake Corum. Good tempo, now hit it. You see the daylight here? We're blocked right here, we're blocked right here. Good job on the perimeter. Again, attitude, it's a thing here. Blake Corum hits it hard. Look at all these guys chasing after him. Attitude, run gritty, finish the run, fall forward. Absolutely love it. Now, another principle of Josh Gaddis's offense is gonna be speed in space. What does that mean? We wanna get the fast players, the ball, with a lot of room to run. And one way they do that is in the vertical passing game. My man right here, Cade McNamara, he's not an elite quarterback, but he's good enough to get our guys the ball. This guy right here, he's really, really fast. So you're gonna see that in this play. So right now, we have our tight end going on this deep concept over here. We have our man right here doing a little out route of sorts. Uh, we're gonna push on the flat, or excuse me, on the dig route up here. We're gonna push on the dig route up here. So we have a sort of two levels of the dig, one from here, one from here. Watch what happens. Great release right there, all this wide open space. Check that out again. Look at how much space my man creates by his route. That's scheme, okay? 
We have him, he's in a zone, he's trailing. All of this real estate for speed. Okay, again, speed in space. Coincidence, I think not. Catch it, now get north, look at all this space. And look at the speed, you're not catching me, you're not catching me, you're not catching me, you're not catching me. Go ahead, and oh, you're not catching me, strike up the bam. That is, I think, a little bit more similar to what we're gonna see from this Miami offense under Gaddis. You're gonna have South Florida athletes in track meets game after game. I think they'll still establish the running game, but we're gonna see plays like that where you have layers of routes, fast guys catching the ball, getting north and south with a lot of real estate. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Another example of that, out of the backfield. Think of all the great tailbacks that have come out of the University of Miami. Well, they got a pretty good one right here and a freshman right here, Donovan Edwards. He's got a little wheel route. We create space with what we do on the bunch down here, but again, speed in space. Get our fast guys into space. Watch it unravel here. He's gonna have man from a linebacker. There's no way he can stick with him. Look at right from the get-go. He is supposed to cover he. That's not a great matchup if you're a Maryland Terrapin, and it's a great matchup if you have someone who's fast. Again, speed in space. All this space. He has to get all the way over here. He knows that, he knows that, and he just turns it up the sideline. Space, I will say it again, speed in space. Go ahead and check it out. Lick your chops a little bit if you're a, Mar if you're, if you're a Miami fan. I mean, just, just check that out. You got fast guys running wide open and it's not because of anything that they're doing from a crazy physical standpoint. Like, yes, they wanna dominate in the trenches, but they're creating all of that from a scheme perspective, okay? They're creating space with their scheme and then capitalizing on the speed. Scheme comes first, speed and space comes second. It's a whole lot of S words, bear with me, but no other S words, you catch my drift. Okay, lastly, Josh Gaddis. All year long, I don't know if it was just because of what Michigan had personnel-wise, but I think it's gonna translate to Miami. They were extremely cheeky, okay? We saw flea flickers, we saw end arounds. In the championship game against Iowa, we see a double pass. And again, these guys are really smart, okay? This whole defense knows, hey, speed and space is what they wanna do. Again, remember him, Donovan Edwards, the freshman back, he's running a little swing route, okay? So conventional wisdom would say, speed and space, they're gonna try to throw him a little bubble route and let him get north, right? Wrong. He's gonna fake stock blocks or pretend like he's gonna block my corner over here and then take off. He is gonna get uh, some width over here catch the ball and set up to throw. So we wanna influence all these guys over here. Watch what happens. We wanna influence everyone over here to think they gotta rally to the football. We're all getting downhill, right? Everyone get downhill to tackle this guy because look at all this real estate. He's so fast, speed and space. Mick sells it, sets up. Uh-oh, that's not good. You're trailing. They set you up and they took advantage of it. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. You're really fast. Hey, it's, it's still speed and space, right? We still got space, we still got speed, but we're capitalizing off of it because of how they're setting you up. Josh Gaddis, gonna play a lot of chess. Everybody else is playing checkers. So to recap, establish the trenches, play physical, have an attitude about yourself. That's what Miami's gonna do. Second, all those fast guys, all the guys they recruited from this great class at Miami that Mario Cristobal has now put together, Josh Gaddis is going to take advantage of that. You're gonna see, like I said, a whole lot of speed and space. That's it for us here at CFP with JD. Subscribe to the channel. Miami fans, welcome home. We're glad to have you. We're gonna keep this party rolling, and we'll see y'all next time.